Yo, what I'm is Derek, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys probably the final uh, Windows 10 custom benchmark that I'm gonna do, just because there's not that many custom ISOs out there, and in the future, there's not gonna be more out there, and they don't get really updated that much. But anyways, let's just get into the benchmark. And so right away, uh, what games did I test? What driver did I use? What power plan? What NVIDIA profile did I use? Stuff like that I will talk about right now. But the games I tested were Valorant, Fortnite, Apex Legends. I also tested the amount of gigabytes that are being used when you first... Um, boot up the RAM usage, uh, the latency that I got using latency mod and then processes that are in the task manager as soon as you uh, download or install the ISO. So the uh, driver that I used was 457.30. I know there's other drivers and some are better than others. I will be making a video about that too. I will talk about at some point I will do a big test of NVIDIA drivers. That probably won't be for a while because that's going to take a long time as well, but I will possibly do that. Um, but 457.30, a lot of people tell it, uh, talk about it, say it's the best one out there, so I use that one. I use NV Clean install with it. I then imported a Nanny and Flashy uh, NVIDIA Profile Inspector file. Every single one of them, even the ones that like Ava were, has its own custom one. I put Nannies in there just, just because I wanted a fair playing field on every single one of them. Uh, with power plans, what I did is if... There, uh, if the ISO has a power plan already, I just use the base power plan that you get with the ISO. If it did not come with an, a power plan, I just used uh, Windows 10 Ultimate Performance. So just keep that in mind. But besides that, there's not really anything else I tested. I just or anything else I changed. It was kind of just install ISO or install it, restart the computer once for Valorant, and then we started testing the games with Cat Frame X. I did it for 60 seconds on every single test. So let's just get into it. So I'll talk about the gigabytes and processes first. So let's talk about processes. Um, there's not much when it comes to processes. It's kind of just straightforward there. Some of this matters, some of it doesn't. Um, I wouldn't say this is a pretty big factor when it comes to these ISOs. Nobody really cares about this type of stuff, but maybe you do. As you can see, Kernel OS and Rec are down there with Fox OS and a couple Fox OSs, as you can see. Um, but like I said, there's not much really here. Gigabytes, um, some of you might be thinking this is important too, which is it probably is depending on if you have a laptop or not. This will vary depending on how many uh, gigabytes of RAM you have. So if you have like eight gigabytes, this may be lower. If you have four gigabytes, this may be lower. So it kind of depends. Um, it could be higher or lower. And then once you start installing programs, this will continue to get higher and higher and higher. Just keep that in mind, but it helps. It's better than regular Windows 10 where you install it and you have like four gigabytes already being used. So 0.8 or 0.9 is way better than four gigabytes right off the bat. So Rec OS you can see is the lowest at 0.8, Ava's at 0.9, and so on and so forth, as you can see. Then we get to the latency. Uh, this is pretty important for people that care about the latency. Now most of these are pretty even. Um, some of them are better than others. As you can see, Fox West 17.9 and Ava are down there at the bottom. One thing I will say, the higher version of Windows 10 it is, the higher the latency usually is. So as you can see, Ava is 18.09, I think, or 18.03, one of the two. Rec OS, I think, is 18.03. I'm not entirely sure which versions they are. I know Kern OS, Rec, Ava are all 18.03 or 18.09. GGOS is 21H1. Atlas is 20H2 or 21H1, and as you can see, there's other ones too. Light, uh, Nexus Light OS, I'm pretty sure, is 21H1 as well, so or 21H2. So you can see that's that's the reason why the latency is higher for some of them. But you're not going to really notice that big of a difference. Um, I think with Ava, I do notice a pretty significant difference when it comes to latency. I think it really is it's really low. And it's really good, uh, better than uh, 1709 with Fox OS, as you can see, but. Like I said, it all depends on your hardware, um, your RAM, your CPU you're using. So that all kind of depends on that and your motherboard as well. So these numbers could be different for you too. So just keep that in mind. Do your own testing if you really want to see significant numbers. But there's not a significant winner here unless you want to go with Ava or Rec or one of the two or Fox OS. Now let's get into the juicy benchmarks. Uh, let's start with Valorant. Um, <laughs> so... This is kind of funny because I was testing every single one of these. I tested every single one, and Rec was the last one I tested. And I tested it today. This morning I tested it. I did a test, and I got 176.6. And I'm like, that doesn't seem right. There, there's there's almost no way I got 176.6 average FPS in Valorant low settings practice against bots. I was like, there's no way 
that happened. So then what I did is I restarted my computer, did the exact same test, and I got the exact same FPS. Well, it was 177.3 like or something, um, but it was like almost the exact same FPS. And I'm like, how is Rec winning this far against everything else? Like, look at the numbers. Like, it's literally like 8, eight FPS. Like, that's un unheard of. Um, but you can see Rec OS is, like I said, the best one. It's got really good 1% lows and 0.2s as well. Um, uh, Fox OS is there as well. Ava's is uh, pretty close as well. Chrono OS is up there. Atlas is up there, and some other ones are up there. Um, if you play Valorant or even Counter-Strike, I think this will also reflect with Counter-Strike as well. I would stick and go with Rec OS, or test it at least. Um, I think when it, when it comes to the top, uh, I'll talk about the top that I think, top three, depending on which um, game you're playing or what you're doing. Um, I'll talk about that at the end. But if you're playing Valorant, it seems like Rec OS is the way to go. Um, I play a lot of Valorant, so I might have to have it just installed just for Rec OS. Uh, we'll see. And then let's go to Fortnite. Um, there's not like a, I mean, there's a clear winner, as you can see. You can see Nexus and Revi are down here. But things like Fox OS are here and Rec OS are the top. You can see these kinds of, these guys are kind of like, um, kind of even here. <clears throat> I would say most of them, you'd probably worry about your 1% lows. So like you see Colonel OS, it's got good, um, it's kind of average with everybody else here with the FPS, but the 1% uh, lows and the 2.2% lows are pretty good compared to the other ones. Um, Ava strides for 1% lows and 2% lows for those to be really, really good. You can see Fox West 179 is good here. If I t if I were um, telling you which one you should use, I think it'd probably be Ava or GGOS. Those are the two that I've used with Fortnite, and they've been pretty well, so are pretty good. So I think GGOS or Ava are the ones I'd go with. Um, if you want, maybe even Colonel OS is pretty good. Atlas is pretty good as well, so those are pretty good as well. Apex Legends. Um, Revi is up there at 114, pretty clear winner there. Um, but things, everything, everybody else is pretty, um, pretty even with, with, uh, Apex. And I think the reason why this is, is because Apex maxes your CPU and your GPU out, GPU out usually. And so you're not going to notice a difference whether you're on like a custom ISO or regular ISO. Um, you might notice maybe five, 10, five to 10 FPS, but you can see there's not that big of a difference unless you use Revi, then there's a pretty big difference. Um. So I would I would test it for yourself as well. So if you play Apex, maybe try Revi and maybe try another one. If there's a clear difference for you as well, then I would go with the one that gives you the best FPS. But I know a lot of people play different multiple different games. Like for me, like that's why I tested Apex, Fortnite, and Valorant because I play those three games. So you can, you would probably want to have to find one that's good for every single uh, game. Uh, that's kind of the hard part too, is because some of these stride for uh, better performance in one game versus the other. Like Rec OS, Rec OS is at 107. Right, it cl yeah, a clear winner in, in Valorant, but Fortnite and Apex it didn't. So that's one thing I will say. So that's the testing. Um, there's not much else for the testing. So let's just talk about a couple things. So Ava, Ava is done for. <laughs> he used, he tested it, or he created. I think I swear it was out for like literally like two three months, um, and he discontinued it today. Actually, this morning he discontinued it, and so. You can still use it if you have an ISO installed. I have one. If you guys want it, I can put it somewhere and send it to you guys. I know it's it's on my Discord. If you join my Discord, it's in there. Uh, if you guys want, I can make a folder in my Discord or a channel in my Discord and just link a ton of ISOs that I have um, if you guys want that. But I would say if you guys want, um, just let me know if that's what if you guys, if that's what you guys want. But Ava is discontinued. Um, Chrono OS, uh, there was a benchmark that went around on Nexus or the World of PC Discord, and he tested a ton of different uh, ISOs, and he still continued to test. So I'd recommend if you want to see another guy testing, check him out. It's called Kev Reviews. It's in the World of PC's Discord. Uh, I'd recommend checking it out. Essentially, this guy's tested a ton of ISOs. He tested with regular power plans and with the power plans that are implemented inside of the actual um, ISO. He, te he tests like... Uh, user created ones he tests ones that people have created like ggos and stuff like that he tests those he tested multiple from nexus os and stuff like that if you want to test or see more results um but like i said if you guys want to see results test yourself now i understand it takes a lot of time for me i tested the first day i was like i want to do this i want to do this and then the second day i was like this kind of is very repetitive and i didn't really have the motivation to go through it so i kind of didn't do a couple other isos i know a lot of people wanted me to do um, XOS, I tried. I 
uh, I download the ISO for it. I import it into Rufus and I imported it. I tried installing it and I kept on getting a Windows error as, as every time it was installing it. Every single time I tried it twice, I even, or I tried it once, got an error, tried it again, got an error, and then I redid the Rufus and I still got the error. So that's why XOS isn't inside of this testing because I had problems with it. So I know there's a guy on my Discord that was telling me to do it. I know I got a comment about it as well. Sorry, I couldn't test it. I can't get into it. I don't know what, what's wrong. I don't know if it's my computer or if it was the ISO that's bugged or something, but there's a problem with the ISO or something. So that's why I didn't test that one. Uh, I know there's a ton, ton of ISOs on Nexus Light OS or Nexus World of PCs of world pc and i didn't test those ones because i don't really think there's gonna be that big of a difference anyways with those ones um if you want to test those you really can um i just tested kind of the main ones from the people that use them um but yeah like i said uh i kind of want to do a nvidia driver video where i test a ton of different nvidia drivers um we'll see though i know there's a guy that already has done that and i kind of just want to go off his stuff but he doesn't test every single one for every single game i want to test every single Oh, or every single driver for every single game uh, we'll see um, but i hope this video helped you in any way i hope it helped you choose the custom iso like i said this is probably my last video that i'm going to create on this i was thinking about doing something where i take individual isos and i just do reviews on them so i would show you guys how to install them and then i would go through things like um the performance that i get on them the, the task manager stuff like that the only problem with doing that is I can't really record the ISOs or the whatever unless I have OBS or like a dual PC type thing, then I could do it, but I don't have that. So like I'd have to use a virtual machine, show you guys, and then maybe I install it myself and then download OBS, and then I show you how, how I test it and stuff like that. We'll see. Uh, but I want to do individual ISO reviews maybe at some point. We'll see. If you guys want to see that, let me know, and I will maybe start doing some of those. But anyways, let me know videos uh ideas um you guys give me video ideas and i usually do them so i would like to see a ton of them um hopefully this video helped you like i said um use my uh fortnite creator code if you do play fortnite is d-e-r-e-k or derek um also hit that subscribe button it really does help me out a ton and also like if you guys like the video if you don't dislike it i mean do whatever you feel but anyways hope you guys like this video peace out